a terrible discovery Why? stunned the globe on the far off coast of Long Island. What are you gonna do to me? Corpses strewn across Gilgo Beach's peaceful dunes. <laughs> the Gilgo Beach serial killer somebody after me. is still a mystery to the town. <laughs> Ten years later, who has responsibility for these terrible killings? How could this murderer? keep on his murdering frenzy for years without any suspicions, and on how this serial murderer was discovered. This is the narrative that turned into major focus for one of the most infamous criminal investigations of contemporary times. Let's investigate this matter together. State Police, Trooper Fry. State Police. Yeah, there's somebody after me. I'm sorry? There's somebody after me. Where are you, ma'am? I don't know. It began with a frantic 911 call from a woman, Shannon Gilbert, in 2010. What Suffolk County Police found along the remote shores of Gilgo Beach was far worse than anyone could have imagined. The victims were young, often in their 20s, and most of them worked in the shadows of society as sex workers. These horrific discoveries began with the search for Shannon Gilbert, a 24-year-old woman who disappeared in May 2010 after making a panicked 911 call. Gilbert worked as an escort and was last seen on May 1, 2010, in Oak Beach, Long Island, after visiting a client. There's somebody after me. Where are you, ma'am? I don't know. You're driving right now? No, I'm inside the house. Are you in Suffolk County or Nassau County? Um, I'm in Long Island. No, stop, no! <laughs> Gilbert then fled the client's house and ran through the neighborhood, reportedly knocking on doors and asking for help before disappearing into the marshes nearby. You are. I don't help. I don't know. Don't get yourself hurt. Where are you going? December 2010, while searching for Shannon, officers stumbled upon skeletal remains. But this wasn't Shannon Gilbert, and what police would find next would shock the world. Within days, three more bodies were found nearby. Total of four bodies were discovered, all wrapped in burlap, hidden in the bush. Whose remains are these? What had happened to them? Who is responsible for these murders? And where is Shannon Gilbert? We were here looking for Shannon Gilbert. That was the whole reason for our, our searches here over, over the last uh, number of months. We had uh, and have an active missing persons case. Her disappearance set in motion the investigation that would uncover multiple bodies on Gilgo Beach, known as the Gilgo Four. The first female remains found in the bushes was Melissa Barthelemy a 24-year-old sex worker, and was last seen on July 12, 2009, in the basement apartment where she lived in the Bronx. She told a friend that she was meeting a man and would be back in the morning, until the morning of July 18, when Melissa's mother made a call to the police to report her missing. Her cell phone showed activity in Manhattan as well as Freeport, Massapequa, and Lindenhurst on Long Island. Investigators believed that she was the second of the women to be killed. The first victim of the Gilgo Four was believed to be Maureen Brainard Barnes. She was 25 years old and believed to be a sex worker. She was last seen on July 9, 2007. The young woman was reported missing on July 14. Her remains were found on December 13, 2010, on the north side of Ocean Parkway near Gilgo Beach. The other two remains were identified as Megan Waterman and Amber Lynn Costello. Megan Waterman was 22 years old and also believed to be a sex worker. She has a daughter named Liliana. Megan was last seen at 1.30 a.m. on June 6, 2010, and left the Holiday Inn Express on Long Island to meet a client, according to the police. Waterman was reported missing in Maine on June 8th. Her body was found near Gilgo Beach on December 13, 2010. 
Amber Lynn Costello, was 27 years old. She struggled with a heroin addiction and worked as an escort to help support her habit. She was last seen leaving her home on September 2nd, 2010, to meet a client. Her remains were found on December 13th, 2010, near Gilgo Beach. She is believed to be the fourth victim. For over a decade, the Gilgo Beach serial killer operated in the shadows, preying on vulnerable women. As the investigation widened, more remains surfaced across Long Island. The Gilgo Four were just the beginning. Good effort by a task force that includes talking to sex trafficking victims in jail. Do you have any persons of interest or any suspects in this case? We have no suspects in this case or persons of interest at this time. In April 2011, police discovered additional remains. An unidentified female toddler, an unidentified male Asian person, and Valerie Mack in Suffolk and Nassau counties. Police realized they were dealing with a serial killer and believe the latter sets of remains predate the four bodies found in December 2010. For years, law enforcement faced numerous dead ends. The killer left almost no forensic evidence, no DNA, and no fingerprints. Investigators pieced together the victims' lives and followed any lead they could find. But the Gilgo Beach serial killer always seemed to stay one step ahead. The only trace of the killer came from the chilling phone calls he made to the families of his victims, using burner phones to taunt them with the voices of their dead loved ones. Well, first of all, we have no idea whatsoever what, <coughs> that we're dealing with a serial killer. He meticulously covered his tracks, using false identities and anonymous communications to avoid capture for years. However, Despite initial police efforts, Gilbert's body was not found until December 2011, over a year later, in a marshy area near where she was last seen. Her cause of death has been controversial, with law enforcement suggesting it was a tragic accident, potentially an overdose or hypothermia, due to her running through the wetlands. However, Gilbert's family has disputed this, believing she was murdered and hired a private investigator to investigate further. It absolutely makes no sense that she's found where she is, except that someone else put her there or killed her there. At a 2022 press conference, then police commissioner Rodney Harrison said, based on the evidence, the facts, Why? and the totality of the circumstances, what are you gonna do to me? the prevailing opinion in Shannon's death, <laughs> while tragic, was not murder and was most likely not criminal. Over the years, multiple theories and suspects emerged. Was the killer a local man, familiar with the isolated stretches of Long Island? Could it have been someone with inside knowledge of law enforcement? Names of suspects resurfaced. One of them is James Bissett. He was a local businessman who supplied burlap, the very material used to wrap some of the bodies. He died by suicide just days after Shannon Gilbert's remains were found. His death sparked rumors and suspicions that he could be involved in the killings. Though no definitive evidence was found, another man named John Bittrell was suspected. He was a Long Island carpenter convicted in 2014 of murdering two sex workers in the 1990s. Some speculated that his methods bore similarities to the Gilgo Beach killings but no concrete links were established between Bitrol and the Gilgo murders either. With the help of witnesses from Amberlynn Costello, they described the man as a large white male, approximately 6'4 to 6'6 in height, with big oval-style glasses. Witnesses also said the man drove a first-generation Chevrolet Avalanche, a key clue that prosecutors said helped lead them to Hoyermann. Rex Heuermann is a 59-year-old architect, married to Asa Ellera, living in Massapequa Park, just miles from where the bodies were found. He was described as quiet and reserved, yet behind his professional facade was a man accused of unspeakable horrors. I'm an architectural consultant, I'm a troubleshooter, born and raised on Long Island. Authorities alleged that Heuermann used burner phones and fake identities 
to contact and kill his victims. For over a decade, the investigation seemed to stall. However, in early 2023, a breakthrough came when investigators tied DNA evidence to Rex Heuermann. Hair strands found on the victims were analyzed with advanced technology, and Heuermann's DNA was a match. In July 2023, Rex Heuermann was arrested outside his Manhattan office. He was charged with the murders of Melissa Bartholomew, Megan Waterman, and Amber Lynn Costello, and pleaded not guilty to all the charges. In January 2024, prosecutors introduced new evidence, including digital records that show Hoyermann's obsessive tracking of the investigation into the Gilgo Beach murders. Additionally, new forensic evidence was uncovered. A lot of uh, torture, uh, porn, and depictions of women uh, being abused. Authorities later searched his Massapequa Park home, where they uncovered an arsenal of weapons, surveillance equipment, and personal items linked to the victims. Police also found burner phones and other disturbing evidence tying him to the crimes. Beyond physical evidence, investigators uncovered troubling behavior in Hoyermann's online activity. His search history revealed an obsession with the Gilgo Beach case, violent content targeting women, and disturbing searches about harming others. His morbid fascination with the investigation showed a man captivated by his own crimes, a common trait in highly organized offenders. Dot. The guy was odd and, and strange, but, but never violent. He was uh, very quiet, dark, he kept to himself, and um, extremely intelligent, very smart. Rex Sherman is a demon that walks among us, a predator that ruined families. His behavior presents a chilling picture of a man living a double life, hiding monstrous actions behind a professional facade. The scope of his crimes could be far greater than initially believed. This leads investigators to look into other cold cases, including disappearances from nearby states, to determine if Hoyermann was involved. For over a decade, the sands of Gilgo Beach concealed a monstrous secret. And now, with Rex Hoyermann behind bars, there is hope for justice. But the full story of the Gilgo Beach serial killer may still be unfolding in 2024 as investigators work tirelessly to ensure every victim receives the justice they deserve. A killer preyed on society's most vulnerable, leaving behind grief, fear, and countless unanswered questions. While the arrest of Rex Hoyermann has brought some measure of relief, the case serves as a chilling reminder of the predators that hide in plain sight. The desperate call for help of Shannon Gilbert not only sparked this investigation, but it also stands as a testament to the bravery of a woman who knew the danger she was in. Her cry for justice became the catalyst that revealed the horror of the Gilgo Beach killings. But what do you think really happened to Shannon Gilbert? Why do authorities maintain that Shannon's death may have been accidental? Let me know your guys' thoughts. As of June 6, 2024, Rex Hoyermann has been charged in the murders of six women, each of the Gilgo Four victims. According to his indictment, Hoyermann is under investigation for the 2000 death of Valerie Mack. As new evidence continues to emerge, we can only hope that the full truth comes to light so that the victims' families might finally find peace. We are going to hold him responsible for what he did in this case. Today, as we await justice in the courtroom, we remember the lives lost, the families broken, and the communities left haunted. The Gilgo Beach murders are more than a crime story. They are a call for us all to protect, understand, and support those on society's fringes. If you're as intrigued by the world of mysteries and serial killer cases as we are, let us know which cases you'd like us to uncover next. Just drop your suggestions in the comments below. 
we're always looking to dive deeper into the stories that keep you on the edge of your seat. And don't forget to follow us on our socials for all the latest updates and sneak peeks into upcoming episodes. Be part of our community, where we uncover the truth, one case at a time.